Hi, welcome aboard. My name is Jason Holtz uh, from Kona, Hawaii. This is uh, Ricky Scarborough's brand new 54 footer that he built for us. It's named the Pursuit. I'll show you through. My boss said he wanted to build something new, and I've always followed Ricky and his family. You know, as you can see, they do a beautiful job, and it's just a great family to work with. This whole valance around the whole salon is a is a channel for the aircon. That square piece that's kind of sitting out, that's that's the return for the aircon. You know, right. air's got to draw in, and so it draws around there, and then it all comes out evenly across this whole valance. They took this solid piece of wood, and they bent it, 16 foot piece, all the way up, all the way around. It's really, really beautiful, yeah. Most people put a, the big flat screen right there, and my boss was like, well, you know, the amount of times you actually watch TV on yeah, a boat. Right, he right. said, I'd rather look at a piece of art. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of Paul McPhee. He's kind of a new on the scene. Cool. It, it's, for the marlin fishing, he's done a lot of other things, but I really like this work, so uh, we went with him, and he did a nice piece of work. So this opens up and hides, hides all our audiovisual, the back of the electronics panel. Sure. It's all nice access. Air con there, air con there, four air cons. So the TV, instead of being hanging on the wall, and this all links in up to the Garmin's upstairs, because my boss likes to sit down and watch the uh, cool. sounder and the sure. GPS. You know, they always have storage under the couches, but you want to get to it, and people are sitting on it, and then you got to move the cushions, and you got to move the pillows. Well, this is as, as simple as oh, look at that. just that. There's a nice big subwoofer under here. The stereo system rocks. These okay. are a couple of just drawer freezers, standard, standard stuff, but sure. a couple fridges, freezers. We had some space here, put a trash can in there, cooking wise, um, just a convection oven. And then instead of putting, we were talking about putting a uh, stove top here, but then you lose all your counter space and the amount of time you actually use a sure. burner, we, they have a mobile one. So we just put it down here with a plug-in. Got all the uh, rope lighting, which makes it nice. Um, they hide everything, which is nice. They, you know, they do a lot of nice wood with all the grain. Just beautiful work and uh, very practical. You know, we carry some big rods in Kona. Um, it's an air-conditioned tackle room, which hold all our rods and a cool. place to rig if you want during your days off. And uh, a master for the boss with its own ensuite. There's a TV in each thing. There's one here as well. Just a couple crew bunks. Nice big uh, closet. Said that he likes a curve on everything, as you can see. Everywhere you look, there's a, everywhere you look, there's a curve. There's no sharp angles, which is nice. Basically, uh, we just wanted something a little more comfortable that we could have some options to do some uh, different things with back home rather than if we wanted to, rather than just doing the easy Kona day. Thing. These are Caterpillars. It's a C-Series 12.9. They're 1,000 horsepower aside. They're twin turboed and they're also supercharged. What Caterpillar's done is they've taken the, um, the delay out of these electronic engines. As, as soon as you sure. give it throttle, you got it. Yeah, nice, which nice. is nice. Yeah. And Ricky likes to keep his engine pretty clean. One thing I like is mirrored ceilings, and the lights are all uh, evenly spread, so you can e even light all through the engine room. No real shadows or dark spaces. Real easy access to your shaft logs. Easy access to everything, really. We have a Northern Lights. Okay, cool. Yeah, 16 kW, and it. There's a bunch of stuff on this boat, but it runs it all no problem. The Optimus steering. It's fly by wire from here down to the Lazarette. There's just two two electronic pumps that have a hydraulic feed about that long to your uh, steering arm. Right. And um, everything's adjustable. Rudder room access, all the plumbing for the tuna tubes and the live well there goes into a sump. Cool. And instead of putting them in the covering boards, I really like a nice clean teak covering board, which we have out there. Oh, nice. So we put the tuna tubes under the footrest. So that mezzanine box is just a, a big giant tuna hold because oh, we, wow. we catch big yellowfin in there. It's kind of hard to hold 200 pound yellowfin sure. or three or four of them. So that holds it. Tuna box oh, wow. goes down all the way to the deck and that's refrigerated as well. Wow, so cool. so we can put a, you know several big yellowfin in there. Nice. Yeah. Ricky's really big about not having to look at anything that you don't have to look at, so he likes to keep everything nice and clean. That's why he does this glove box here and all your head units for your GPS, Sea Keeper, steering, stereo, trim tabs, everything's in this glove box that you can just hide. But the Garmin all, you know, links to everything, so you can you can set them up however you want. Everything right through the touch screens. Oh, perfect. And we put a separate one up here. Um, nice. So we, I actually run, this is, this whole thing is I just, basically used for my autopilot. Working with Ricky and Sarah was second to none. They're just really, really nice people. Him and his wife are a great team and, uh, and the people he has work, working for him as well. It's just it, like, make you feel like family.